All right, what's going on guys? This is gonna be a quick little video of my Russian Sega AK-74 made by Ismash. And I'm doing the conversion myself, as you can see. Uh, you remember from the first video, it was in the sporting configuration, and that's the only legal way they can import these into the country from Russia. And I'm doing the conversion myself, and when it's all done, it's going to be pretty much the same thing as an Arsenal SGL-31. The only difference is I'm doing the conversion instead of Arsenal Incorporated in Nevada. Okay, same rifle. Um, this is the progress so far, uh, everything I've done. And uh, I've removed, first thing I'll go over uh, at the end of the muzzle, I have replaced the factory front sight block and the gas block with a Bulgarian set and you can see this has the threads for the muzzle brake, the AK-74 muzzle brake it has the bayonet lug and the uh, the gas block has the accessory lug and it is chrome lined alright so I've installed those you can see I have a traditional uh, lower handguard retainer and I filed I filed the notch in the barrel myself okay so I'm not going to use a bolt on and it's very important to make sure you put this on first before you put your gas block and your front sight on because otherwise you have to take it back off to get the retainer on um, some people decide not to change the front sight and the gas block and they just get the bolt on lower handguard retainer uh, but for me if I'm going to convert this rifle I'm going to do it 100% to make it exactly like an AK-74 so uh, I had to replace the factory front sight block and the gas block. Uh, otherwise, I just wouldn't be satisfied. Uh, I like it to be exactly how it should be. Okay. Uh, moving on down, nothing really has changed. Uh, you can see that I've obviously <clears throat> removed that plate and the original trigger group of the sporting configuration and uh, you can see the hole right here where the trigger is supposed to go it was back here uh, so now that I have that all removed I'll be able to install everything correctly like the the regular trigger guard and all that um, the only thing on this rifle that's not going to be true to an actual AK-74 is the, the trigger guard is not part <clears throat> of the magazine release actually I have one right here to show you an example this is how it should be. You can see this is where the magazine release would go in this channel right here and you can see how it's attached. It's actually part of the trigger guard. Uh, I did not feel like undoing those rivets and then re-riveting this on there because I don't have the tools necessary to rivet. So this is the only thing I'm going to have to compromise with. I'm going to have to screw this on. Okay, I don't know. I, it might go, yeah, it goes like this. Alright, so that'll be the trigger guard. That's the only compromise I have to make. Other than that, everything's going to be exactly the same. Okay. <clears throat> um, you can see the holes here that held in the original trigger group. I have JB welded those holes and sanded them down. Okay. Uh, they're not exactly flush with the receiver. They're a little bit uh, recessed. Uh, that's the best I could do. The same thing on the other side. And right here this area you remember there was like stippling it was you know stippled and I filed it down to the point where it was uh, you know not as rough and I could actually read words that they stippled over and that that seems to be the reason they stippled over because they don't want you to read the words uh, if I remember correctly it was it said Russian American Armory Company something Indiana Okay, uh, something like that. But I sanded it down, and I JB welded over it. Uh, sand, you know, sanded it down. Now, I didn't use sandpaper. I used like a uh, kind of a semi-rough uh, filing pad, uh, and that's the result. It's 
very close to being exactly flush with the receiver. Uh, so that's that. And I've removed the under uh, bottom tang for the original buttstock. Took that off. Okay. Uh, what else? I've removed the original front or the original rear sight that only went out to 300 meters. And here I have. Where is it? Right here. Uh, this is an East German rear sight that goes out to a thousand meters like a normal AK-74. That's the spring for the uh, rear sight. And, you know, original bolt carrier and piston, original recoil spring. Uh, here's the gas tube right here. Uh, the, the factory gas tube would not, you know, would never work with a regular AK-74, so I had to get this. Um, traditional ice uh, I uh, got that sanding block and uh, sanded it down a little bit to make it a little bit rough so when I spray paint it uh, the paint will hold on to it better okay uh, yeah muzzle brake this is the factory trigger that came out of my uh, Arsenal SLR 104UR the uh, the Krinkov the uh, AKS 74U. Uh, this is the tr uh, regular Arsenal trigger from Nevada, made in USA. Uh, I'm going to use this in this rifle. Okay, here's the access pins, the spring, trigger guard. Here's a Krebs custom hammer pin and trigger pin retainer. Okay, I'm going to be using that. Uh, factory safety lever. Uh, I had to get a pistol grip screw, obviously, because it, it, it obviously didn't come with one. Two screws for the buttstock. Now uh, here's the screws and bolts that hold on the trigger guard. Here's the smooth uh, dust cover. And for the furniture, I'm going to use my Bulgarian surplus plum stock set. It's a polymer plastic. Okay. AK-74. It might look black in the video, but it, it is plum. Uh, plum pistol grip. This is actually a Russian plum pistol grip. But the buttstock and the handguard and gas tube cover are Bulgarian. Right, your heat shield is your regular Bulgarian polymer stock set. Uh, this is just a Bulgarian Bakelite bayonet. I've had this for a pretty long time. I just have it out here uh, Just because it will work with this rifle and this right here is a spring That uh, goes on the end of the gas tube to keep it a little bit snug when it's fitting in here <coughs> show, you, show you the other side of the rifle and as you can see I pretty much took off most of the factory finish Okay JB Weld. I JB welded the hole right there. That's where the screw was holding in the front handguard on the original configuration. Uh, I JB welded the hole where the bolt hold back lever was. And here's the other screw hole that held in the buttstock from the bottom. JB welded those up. Okay. Sega 545 by 39 made in Russia by Ismash and it was imported to RWC Group LLC uh, Tully Town PA USA so yeah there it is <clears throat> now these are all the parts and uh, all I have to do is spray paint everything now, for the barrel, gas block, and front sight base, the parts that get, you know, really hot, I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum high heat primer up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake it in the oven uh, at different temperatures to cure it. Then I'll put this high heat black Rust-Oleum over the barrel on top of the primer, bake it in the oven to cure it. And then for the receiver, I'm going to use this 
black sandable primer. Uh, spray that on the receiver. Uh, you don't have to bake it. And then this Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel flat black. Put that over the primer and that'll be for the receiver, trigger guard, um, dust cover, and uh, yeah, the gas tube's going to have to use the high heat stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, there's my <coughs> um, Sega conversion uh, progression. This, this is as far as I've got so far. This is the first one that I've ever converted. And like I said before, uh, in the unboxing of this firearm, uh, I've always wanted to build my own AK-74. But, you know, I just don't have all the tools and equipment necessary to do that. And I really didn't want to buy all that just to build one rifle. And that's really all I wanted to do is build one rifle. And I also always wanted a Russian AK-74 because that's like the original is a Russian. So this is kind of like in the middle. I'm getting a Russian AK-74 and I'm converting it. So in a way, I'm kind of building it. Um, pretty much doing everything except putting in the rivets and the rear trunnion, front trunnion, pressing the barrel into the front trunnion, you know, all that stuff. I'm doing a lot of the work myself, so in a way it's kind of like building it, and I'm also getting a Russian AK-74 in the end. Uh, so I'm happy with it. So yeah, there it is. Uh, any questions about the process, let me know. Uh, I would have filmed myself doing this stuff, but this is the first time I've ever done this, and you know, I really wanted to pay attention and concentrate uh, the first time I'm, I'm doing something, I really don't feel like making a video because in, in reality, I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I just want to, you know, I don't want to mess up on anything. Now, if I were to do this again, you know, I, I've already, you know, I know the mistakes I've made and things I can do to make it easier and go smoother. So if I ever did this again, I would make an in-detailed video on every step of the, of the process. But for the first one, uh, sorry you guys didn't get to see a how-to video. Uh, there's many videos on YouTube that actually helped me, so it's not like you guys can't have access to that kind of stuff, but uh, sorry I couldn't show you how I did it. Um, but I was influenced by a lot of videos on YouTube. So let me know what you guys think, and like I said, if you have any questions, just ask, and I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I'll show you the farther progression of this rifle as I do it. So you guys take care.